Hey guys, today's little gadget is this 2.1 inch um, NFC powered e-paper display where Waveshare provides an example app and also an SDK to build your own Android app where you can just place your mobile device or any NFC device onto the display and it will refresh it and it does not need any power. This is the rest here is just for the later part. And while Waveshare is quite open about what is uh, the way to drive them, they do not really disclose any infos on what part is inside, except showing this PCB, which does eventually even has the yeah, marking removed. And after Andrew, a few weeks ago pointed his finger on one it was quite fast clear that they use this so-called TN2115S2 microcontroller as the pinout is just directly fitting if you compare them by picture and they were so nice to also mark the SWD interface where I then just simply connected the Lega Flasher and for the TN microcontroller there is a specification data sheet without much information but that it is a Cortex M0 and a bit information about how much flash it has, how much um, RAM and that it has EEPROM and such but no yeah, real description of registers etc. So after connecting I was quite lucky that uh, Vega did file successfully read out the memory and I was able to dump it and put it into Ghidra where I then reverse engineered the necessary functions where there are not really many and I looked into what it does, what yeah, the system overall does and quite early already there was this function where it was writing a zero or a very strange value to a register and based on the yes spare data sheet there is some uh, some uh, part where they describe it yeah it's here that the password is lock protected uh, the flash is lock protected uh, to not accidentally write to it and so I was quite sure that this is the function for it and while the datasheet does uh, also advertise over the air update functions the firmware does not seem to no uh, use it and this is here just for the password you can set via NFC so nobody else can refresh the screen without knowing this password which is stored in the EEPROM after then, yeah, looking further around and creating or using a Cortex M0 GCC um, linker script, very simple, and putting in more and more from the rever reversed uh, infos into a nicely formatted C code and compiling it via GCC, we get a successful bin file and by using this strange commando which we can write to this function via Zega at the same time we can also flash it's possible to uh, flash to the chip as well not only read it and if I'm now showing to that I will write to it and the second time as well let's see if this works or if we need to unlock it again so once more still no luck ah for fear effect as usual ah maybe i should use the correct file and not the stock firmware again so i will just select the correct file and then flash it again and then let's see you can see the led is even lighting up 
and it does refresh to a new page without any mobile phone connected. And I can now even change the context of the main file and recompile it again to then flash it once more, like so. And we can see that it is also more or less good showing an image. I think I misflashed it midway. So let's flash it just another time and hope for the best. Still no luck. Once more. Ah, it does not want to work. Ah, okay. Now I know. See here, I left in the second command, which should be commented out. So the flashing works fine. And it was also the first time not working that well. So let's flash it again. And now we can see we have a successful image. So yeah. And just for the sake of it, let's upload yet another image to it, which I will do now. And there we go. So let's see how much info I will upload from this. It's quite interesting to get into it, but there's really not much usage in the end. And it's really just for the, yeah sake of having a full internal view of that microcontroller which has no public data sheet or SDK. So yeah, I hope you like this story. See you next time.